Na chuka ongo hai and uh, I go start uh, today. Of course, I get my very namesake for the house and uh, we're going to look some certain issues. Issues we concern road uh, rehabilitation, of course, uh, road infrastructural development uh, for our country. Uh, on the good this note, I uh, they tell about the issue of uh, the Minister of uh, Works, uh, when it be David Senator David Mwahi, uh, in as it concerns the issue of. Uh, Road rehabilitation. So I say, as I treat this issue of uh, uh, road constructions, road, and I go bring somebody, and when they still get idea about the issue, and of course that's why I bring my namesake, uh, Chooks Untadi, uh, of course, in the house. Of course, you know so many things. I uh, know I forgive him, but today I'm going to look at the issue of uh, road infrastructural development for our country, and uh, just uh, Monday uh, the. The, the, the minister after in, in the previous that don't, don't, don't talk with uh, contractors, talk with uh, stakeholders as it concerns issue of uh, road. He enter uh, Lokoja, he start with Abuja, Lokoja, and of course uh, Okene, and uh, just that as is down there as is to just inspect the as the diamond test out. Then uh, some just days back, about two, three days back, uh, he was uh, to enter this other uh, side of Kaduna. Uh, I mean Abuja, Kaduna, and of course uh, Zaria, Kanu, Axis to Ingo Chekam. And uh, before we go discuss this issue, I will go one book. We we'll just place more of that uh, uh, that uh, uh, work when uh, oversight when uh, the governor go do. So that move we we'll take get you no know, maybe nowhere with the angle we we'll go for. So we we'll start from there. Then uh, after that we will come back. Uh, we we'll give you time. Make you just. Tell us uh, what you think about certain things. I'm going to ask you. Uh, well, my contribution, of course, we could take that uh, uh, trip, that oversight uh, work when the uh, Minister of uh, Works, uh, Senator David Mwai, go uh, check for these two axes. When we come back, I did have a chuck to study and go to answer some certain questions. Well, not going the Minister, who was accompanied by the Governor of Kogi State, Alaji Yaya Bello, some directors in the ministry said the road is first among his priorities to accomplish. He said his plans is to build roads that will last 50 years and above and that no contracts will exceed more than two years before completion. If the contractor is very competent, when we redesign it, we can call him or we can build on the palliative to improve on it. The governor has requested that there should be a retaining wall. Uh, because there is no need of building a road that when the flood comes, people cannot pass. So we're going to be looking at the flood level and then raise the, loop, the, the, the route to that level. Nigerians will be very happy with the aspirations and the wishes of Mr. President for Nigerians. On his part, the Kogi State Governor, Alaji Yaya Bello, applauded the effort of the minister while emphasizing on the importance of Abuja Lokoja Road and the move by the minister, which demonstrates readiness in meeting to the challenges of bad road network in the country. This is a road that is connecting the whole of southeast, south south, and southwest to Abuja and the north. More than 85 to 90 percent of vehicular movements, conveying both passengers and goods and services, passes through this particular road. And we thank God that we have engineer, governor, senator, Dave Umahi, <laughs> a round peg, a round hole. The areas inspected were the bridge reconstruction at Gaba, Gadabiu, the Abadi section of the Abuja Lokoja Road, Kotokafi Bridge, Multala Bridge, Lokoja Ganaja Ajekuta Road, and Lokoja Okene Road. Chuka Umuhai, ITV News. The minister, while addressing stakeholders during the inspection tour of the Abuja Kaduna Zaria and Kanu highways, said President Bola Tunibu had directed him to move to the various sites where projects are ongoing for the on the ground assessments before coming out with a blueprint figure for the completion. The minister, while commending the work done so far, said every project must pass through scrutiny and the desires of the ordinary citizens must be met. I'm here on the directive of Mr. President, His Excellency Senator Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Uh, he directed me to immediately move to site. And today he said I must be on this route to inspect 
and he directed that I must see most of the routes, the ongoing routes, uh, physically before I will come and run uh, figures and issues with him. I will be the best friend to any contractor that will be amenable to these uh, changes that I want to bring because we want to see how we can cut down cost, cut down the construction period and then give our people a route that will last a minimum of 50 years before you think about the initial maintenance. On her part, the Deputy Governor Kaduna State Hadiza Balarabe commended the Minister for embarking on the tour while emphasizing on the importance of good road networks as necessary for infrastructural development that will impact the lives of the people. This tour, I believe, will afford you with first-hand information on progress so far and what needs to be done. The fact that you are here shows your readiness to change narratives and ensure delivery on your mandate for the greater good of the people of Nigeria. Good road infrastructure is the most important public asset. Roads open up areas and stimulate economic and social development. The Abuja Kaduna Zaria Kanu road network is another major project that is of a high priority as the minister continues his engagement with major stakeholders. Chu Kaunhai, ITV News. <laughs>
uh, he talked so many things uh, in details. I don't know if he played those things for you, now you understand, but subsequently maybe I uh, will plan for him here. But he talk about uh, the, the pattern of way that they build road. Like when you go to Kaduna houses, he talks about the pattern of way they build the road for Kaduna houses, like the space when they give uh, the road, and uh, they get farm, when, when, when go improve agricultural, uh, for that, but for this side of for this the south side of it, same thing, uh, not the but what it could be your general advice uh, for, for um, as it concerns this issue of uh, I go to handle uh, issue of materials and quality, getting quality and quality work. Thank you very much. So that particular part, I notice I'm say, you know, just talk about quality job delivering on time. There is one more thing there is also. He said the cost should be effective. It should not be the, the cost, cost should not be overwhelming, meaning that the cost making no do high. high. Now, the cost of material right now, everybody knows the cost of material. Now, that angle, I want to advise that they should not play around the quality of the job because we are trying to get something that is low. Because as an engineer, by the time you do um, less quality work, you will spend more in maintaining that your work. Mm. Yes, if you do less quality work, you spend more. So, while we are talking about managing the whole situation to see how we can reduce costs, yes, we should also be effective to make sure that the job is quality. They should not just cut it to the extent that contractors will not definitely, because contractors want to make profit. So they should not just cut it in a way that they will not be able to put something quality. They should cut it in a way that at least contractor will put something very quality, a very good quality work, at the same time go back home with something as a contractor. Now, uh, the other angle, there is a particular uh, scene there, a particular bridge you saw that they were talking about uh, putting retaining wall. Mm. A retaining wall are walls to support the structure. structure. Those walls are retaining walls. They retain the structure. Now, if there's going to be a retaining of such, the retaining wall, there is one mistake we do sometimes. By the time we do retaining walls, sometimes even the cover, to co to the cover on that retaining wall, some of them are not, uh, they don't last. So I pray and I want to advise that by the grace of God that this government or this administration, this good office, should also look into that because what, what when you build a retaining wall, if you don't cover it very well or close it very well, you intend to go back again. And when the time you start falling off, start peeling off, I don't want to measure some in Abuja here. Okay. You understand? There is some in Abuja here close but to But I, I, like uh, this man talk, he talks a beggar and uh, I uh, do most of beggar work they do very, very good. Yes sir. But most things for, most of our bridges for are beggar do mm. you understand? So but I, I hope that particular one you talk about, I don't think maybe not them uh, do that uh, to those bridges, but if parametric and duam, which kind where the lapse, where you say the mistake? Sometimes, the sometimes the mistake come, can, the mistake come from whereby when they are overlapping the, the filling to backfill, mm. when they, you know, they, they take time to do casting. When you take time to do casting, the filling backfilling you do definitely might have. Washed, washed away or washed away little reduced and once you put load on it it sinks in and once there's a space between the concrete and your backfilling the concrete you know one not in whole concrete again concrete it needs support to support that mm. if not in no concrete it will, it will sink in or it will break or it will be crack mm. so the, the it's something that they should do almost immediately but be sure that at least the backfilling is very okay so that those those things will not occur because when you're called it will affect whatever work you are doing there, particularly backfilling. It will affect. Then uh, the other angle the minister also talked about. Minister make us understand say uh, this work, not the small work that Nigeria should prepare for work. Yes, good. But at the same time, the we, we are looking at uh, Kogi Road. Abuja Kogi. Uh, we're looking at Abuja Kaduna. Kaduna. Yeah. We also have other road like uh, Abuja to Ninja. That one is also no go area. Very terrible road. That's from Abuja to Mina, Abuja to Bida. 
that road is terrible. But, okay, Abuja to Kaduna is a different one. Abuja yes, to Mina is a different yes, one. Okay. But you can still go through, then you divert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They go Mina, they yeah. go Bidwe, okay. or they go. But what am I saying? I have, okay, other roads are there. So I, with this government, I, we should just prepare for work. Okay. We should prepare for it. I love the beginning of the Okay, but one last project. thing I want to ask you before I will let you go. The, the, in talks, uh, uh, no, the president, the president, but I'm a but I'm nine, uh, director. I'm, to go see this road, yes, sir. That uh, if we don't go meet them before, say, see what they do, see the uh, see the amount we we stipulate. That the matter, I say, hey, you know, they not work that way. But you will go on grant assessment by yourself. Go check these things by yourself before you come back. I uh, can't bring anything like figures. What will be your uh, take on that one? Normally, in every major project, you definitely need to do what they call visibility, physical uh, study. To be mm -hmm. sure that uh, what you are putting on pen is yeah, you, you you're very certain that it will definitely go well. Uh, why they talk this thing? We say I won't build this kind of project. I don't feel down for office. Come begin to assume. No, it takes you to go there to see. And by the time you see, by the time they are putting the cost effective of the BOQ bill of quantities, mm -hmm. you will definitely know if it will work or not. So that we don't go and start something. At the end of the day, we should not become, God forbid, abandoned. Abandon no, we don't want that. With this good government, no, we don't want that. What we're expecting is, we'll do what the minister is doing, beautiful. What the minister president have told him to do, beautiful. Because you need to do physical assessments to check. There are some places where floods are so heavy, the current of flood is so high. You know what to do there. There are some places where it's a total swamp. Like, look at Awuchi Road now. Awuchi Dam going towards uh, Okwela. But left and right, now they don't think I plan to try finish. Because why is a fatal land and is a, is, a, is a good uh, fadama, which is a swamp area for rice. But the cost of building roads there is expensive because it's water law. You understand? Mm. But that does not mean that we will not do it. We will do it and it has to be effective. So obviously it's a good start for me and uh, it's a very good one for this administration and it's a good one for Nigeria with this effort. But one thing I want to say is our government should put in energy to make sure that we do not do only Kaduna, eh, Abuja to Kaduna alone, or Abuja to through Kodi. No, we should try and be, we should cover, we should cover all areas. Most of the roads are bad. Potakot Road is there. The one from Abato to Potakot. Mm. The one from Kalabato, this one is there. I know projects are going on, but we should try as much as possible to just don't look at one angle or look at two angles. We should do all. Uh, I, I believe you. Uh, with, the way, with the way the man takes that, uh, we think it will reach everywhere assistance what do you take on that yes we see we see them we see him going everywhere for mm -hmm. this uh, rehabilitation but what we are saying is as we are doing uh, this one doing uh, kogi to abuja to uh, south south or east doing uh, abuja to kaduna road we should also put energy and do those ones too that are terrible there is some that doesn't have road at all mm. you understand we should mm. do all those ones too and make this place a very better place just as it is but with the way he is the way that they go i believe that they will be able to cover in the first one year or two years they will be able to cover at least maybe 40 percent or 60 percent of those rooms thank you very much engineer uh, chooks yes, well uh, my contribution of course i did since with engineer uh, chooks and tardy uh, and of course in uh, when it comes to uh, construction it comes to building comes to engineering uh, in the uh, forefront uh with me coin tell us i may talk to Matt for this uh Grand run, uh, this uh, grand running uh, thing when uh, the Minister of uh, Works start as a concern is uh, oversight work. Go check for Lokoja and check for Kaduna. Just as you say, uh, make you extend them, go everywhere. And we're very yes, sure, yes. and the positive say the man go extend them, uh, go everywhere. Well, thank you very much for. Thank you,